Hey everybody, today I'm showing you one of the coolest chess boards that I've seen so far. I'm a big fan of chess robots. If you've been following the channel, you know that I've covered a lot of cool chess boards. This is the first one that sort of brings these chess robots into 2025. It has a robot arm, it can express itself, a stockfish, it has a magnetic snap-on design. It has two play mode, match mode and fun mode. Now this is going to be crowdfunded and I'm going to include the link in the description. So go check it out if you like something like this. They're going to need your support to make this project a reality. But unlike a lot of Kickstarter projects that I've covered, they actually have a working product. This is cordless, has a version of a stockfish. It is very compact as you can see. This is everything that you get. Everything fits in this nice little case. It's ready to go. Now I'm going to be gentle with it because you are still dealing with a robot, but it has AI. It has a camera to perceive the board and pick up the pieces. This is pretty lightweight. Unlike other robots that I've covered, it doesn't take a whole lot of space. The other ones that I've covered required both hands to move them around. Now I have not opened this before. You get this manual, which has basic instructions on how to set it up. I'm just gonna open this. remove the robot so this is the robot this is the screen that as you see the expressions has a magnetic design you can see this this is the back the USB it's over 10 hours battery now you want to be careful with robots you want to handle it with care you have your pieces here they neatly stay in place queen unlike some other models you don't have to charge all the pieces there we go I like the fact that everything fits here it's much smaller than let's say a square off. This is very portable, you can take it anywhere. Just, just get a sense of what the size is for these pieces, the largest one. They seem to be the right size, not too small, not too big to play the game. This is the board. So this is the neat part. The board is also the carrying case and you obviously have this handle area. Seems about 12 inches. When you close this, it's much more compact. You lock this in place like that. It's that one feet area. This is where you have the connection for the robot and the robot itself has that area here. So very straightforward. Even if you don't read the guide, you're not gonna have any problem putting this together. So the key is to attach this and line this up magnetically. There we go. The robot is connected. And now we're ready to play. You just have to turn it on. Need to make sure that the robot is charged and ready to go. Now the first step before you attach this is to unfold the robot. And that's going to happen automatically. You want to make sure that it's on a flat surface. Now just put it there. There we go. So if I go here and attach it there, you see now that turns on. The next step is to put the pieces where they belong and you just follow the instructions. It's going to put them here one by one. Now check this out, this area, that's where you're supposed to put the queen. It even says queen there. So now the board is set, really simple process so far. Okay, it wants to play the Scandinavian. I'm not going to let it. I'm gonna to go to some sort of weird French, or maybe it's gonna go C5. Okay, or C6, interesting. So that sort of transposes into a Caracon. If I go D4, BF5, right? Pretty cool, I have to say. I don't see any mistakes that I can detect so far. The pieces are put on a center. What's neat about this robot is that I can set up any position and then ask it to play. So let's say I wanna get rid of all these. So let's do it, let's see. Pretty cool, I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to put anything in an app. So it has these different expressions. So that's how promotion works. The battery is showing there, so I'm running out of battery. It gets angry when I stop it in the middle of a game. If I wanna fold this again, I have to long press this.
Now I want to get the noise level for this robot. I've removed my external microphone, which has noise cancellation. So you guys can better hear the noise. It's not that noisy, but let's see. Sinus is not that loud and it can continue from any position you set up. It sees it with this camera. See it right there. The other mode that I showed you guys was the unlimited mode, the fun mode, whatever you want to call it. This is the time mode. So I have only a certain amount of time. And I just press this. In this case, I'm playing sort of a bullet. You can also go with other times or you can go with the unlimited time that just has those emotions. I just switched mode and it turned into this. These are where the pieces line up. When it captures them, this is where you're supposed to put your queen. So pretty straightforward. One of the neat things about this board is that it's very lightweight, very compact. I can take it outside easily. So I stay in my backyard. It has battery. I can set up the robot. You can do by opening it from here. So I have my pieces. The board then attaches to the robot. This is the board. Turn it over. This is where the robot attaches. So let's see if I can play a game here in these conditions. So I'm just gonna turn this on. To change level, so if I go, if I press this, it'll go to max level right there. What's neat is I can even skip a turn. The way it works is the robot will treat the position as a setup position, as a position that you've set up. So if you skip a turn, just press this and the robot will make another move thinking that this is a custom position. This allows it to handle any position you throw its way, whether it's an end game, it's a middle game. The neat part is I can set this up anywhere. It can be here in my backyard, when camping, in my office, anywhere. In this case, it's not even capturing my piece because there's no way for me to defend it. I can do this maybe. It's a very common ending that you need to know because it could happen to anyone. So this has potential for people who don't know end games to be problematic because it's not as straightforward. I just keep pressing this to uh, play. So let's see how it's going to make me. This is the max level, by the way. So I already can't do a whole lot. I can't move my king anywhere. Checkmate is happening soon. Can't go here. The only place I have is here. So I'm in box. So that's checkmate. Now this is the robot playing white. Now if I move the pieces there, it starts from there. So that's not a problem. Because this has an AI camera, it can detect your pieces wherever they are. So it's playing white. In this case, if I press this, it should pick up one of those pieces there and play that. So it plays D4 from that side. These pieces can be picked up with a simple, small magnet. Now, now this is a main two for black. I'm just gonna press this. Let's see what happens. I 
Okay, so I don't have any other move just to take this and this should be checkmate. Gonna go pick up that. So it was able to solve this. This was the Sinus Chess Robot. The crowdfunding campaign is going to be live. I'm going to link in the description to where you can find it. This is not the final product, it's a test model, but there are going to be improvements to this more modes and app all kinds of things are in the works which is very exciting if you like this video please like and subscribe that would help the channel a lot thanks for watching